Well, Joe Biden is sending out fundraising emails demonizing extreme MAGA Republicans, who he claims are a threat to the country, fomenting hatred and division to make money. Joining me now, founder of Bikers for Trump, Chris Cox. Hey, Chris, you're a threat to the country. Did you know that? Because you're MAGA. <laughs> I know something. I know. Don't tell my mom. How you doing, Eric? I'm doing good. So what about all this push? First was Ultra MAGA. He tried that. Then MAGA. You know, they seem to be testing this narrative and trying to raise money off of it. Come on. We're, we're just we're America loving, America first, freedom thinking people. It, it doesn't make sense, Eric. You know, the MAGA, we're out here talking about the economy, about energy. Um, we're, we're talking about all the things that this country needs to, to, to operate while the left is weaponizing abortion clinics and trying to mislead the American people. And, you know, the, the DOJ and the FBI, they're lockstep with the radical left, and they think they can just pile up these charges on Donald Trump. They can harass him. They can taunt him. They can bankrupt him. And they, because they know he's the only person that could possibly ruin their plans. And I think they're right. He is their worst enemy. And Eric, he's our greatest hope right now to get this country back on track. And you know, Chris, I know we've been friends a long time, and I know he calls you and you talk to him, and it, it, it's great. I want to hear what, what, his, what your thoughts about where he is and what, when he's going to announce. I believe he's going to. But, but in the meantime, while we do this, while we hear about that, I'd like the control room to show some of that, that boat video that you've been you know, basically taking your boat down the country, talking to real people about Trump. What did they say? And tell us about what you, what you think Trump's going to do. So we've been uh, traveling down middle America. We started, uh, uh, the original start was up in um, Prescott, Wisconsin. And uh, we've made our way down all the way uh, to the Ohio River up. And now we've uh, got it parked over in the Kentucky Lake because of that hurricane coming in. And, you know, this was designed to bring a lot of attention to Donald Trump, and it was working. And uh, Donald Trump called me about a week ago tomorrow, and he said, uh, you know, he, he said that he had seen my interview on um, Newsmax, and uh, he was thanking me for that. And I explained to him I was on this, and we had a hurricane coming at us. And he looked, he goes, Chris, you go through that hurricane as fast as you can, and when you get to the end, you tell him I sent you. And we laughed, and he said he was kidding. And he said, Chris, you know, I could really use you guys in Ohio, Pennsylvania, you know. This is just too big of a resource right now, sitting on the sidelines, even though we were we were out there registering voters, engaging with people and letting them know that the MAGA is still alive and well. And uh, we couldn't be more proud of him. You know, he comes up against these brick walls all the time and he just climbs them, jumps them and uh, they don't seem to affect them. And he has the tenacity and the drive of a 30 year old man. He's got the wisdom of a 99 year old man. And uh, you gotta remember, we didn't elect a politician. We elected a businessman with the work ethics of a farmer and that's Donald Trump. Yeah, you know, we, we, I, I'm down here in Florida and, the, and there's down in Boca and in, in South Florida, there are so many boats that will fly that Trump flag. It's amazing that this is definitely, this is Trump country down here. You represent real Americans, you know, not these liberal, East Coast and West Coast, the liberal elites who sip lattes and whatnot. You're you're real, real America. Real quickly, um, by the way, we're going to start up that engine in a second. Not yet, but is Trump? Yeah. When's Trump going to announce? What do you think? You know, it'd be counterproductive for him to announce right now. When you look at the FEC and how they run things and their restrictions and guidelines, they would tie, they put a juggernaut around his money. Um, the yeah. longer he waits, the better off he is. He's able to to mitigate and get around this country right now and get his message out there. You look at all the rallies he's throwing, you look at the lack of rallies that the left is throwing. So and, it's, uh, a, it's, a, a it's, a, it's a, it's a November 9th, maybe the day after the midterms. Uh, Chris, we gotta go, but uh, right off that, yeah, hold man. on, is this, a, is this a Pete Buttigieg uh, quiet electric motorcycle you're sitting on or no? No, remember we, I got the motorcycle for Joe Biden. Well, we, we, that was too big, he never called us. So we got a 1974 Harley Davidson mini bike for Joe Biden right here. We just want to be the first ones to watch him. You know, the brakes are a little shabby. It's got a little problem with the lights, but it'll go 55 miles an hour. He, Chris, at 90 Chris CC, so. the man can barely walk. He ain't getting on that bike, but go ahead, <laughs> rev her up. Let's exactly. <laughs> There we go. There we go. You're on. All right, buddy. Good to see you, man. Let's see you next time. Peace out, brother. Chris Cox, everybody. All right. There we go. That's Chris Cox. Thanks for joining us.